Hi, my name is Tony. I'm a gunsmith at Charter Arms, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take apart and reassemble the cylinder assembly on your Charter Arms revolver. First thing you're going to do is clear the weapon, open the cylinder, check the chambers, make sure there's no obstruction in the barrel. Next, make sure you have eye protection because several of the parts are under tension. You're going to first open the cylinder, unscrew the ejector rod head. Sometimes the ejector rod head is loctited into place and you'll have to heat it up to loosen the loctite and allow you to release the head. Take apart the spring and the collar. There's an internal ring that holds the cylinder into place. So what you're going to want to do is strike the cylinder in the opposite direction to break the cylinder off of that ring. You can use a piece of paper or padding or something just to make sure you don't mar the frame with the cylinder while you're taking it off. Using a nylon mallet, give it a sharp hit and it'll break free off of that ring. Push the ejector out a little bit and it'll slide off the crane just like that. To get the entire assembly apart, you're going to have to hold the ejector open and push the rod that holds the cylinder to the frame down slightly and turn it around until you find the small pin that holds together the spring and bushing inside of the ejector. Then with a small punch you push that pin out of the assembly. Before you move the punch make sure you're facing the ejector downward because the bushing and spring are going to come out of the end of the ejector, right there. That's the bushing, the spring, extractor. On the other side you have your ejector rod, washer, and your spring. And that's the complete disassembly. To put the cylinder back together, you can use the ejector rod as an assembly tool. What you're going to do is put the bushing first onto the rod, then the spring, and you're going to put them into the extractor. Now, you're going to line up the holes in the extractor to the holes in the bushing, and then with a pair of fine tweezers or pliers, after you have the holes lined up, you're going to take the assembly pin and hold those two pieces together. Take the rod out. Then you're going to put the washer on the rod the same way. Put the spring in there and they fit into the cylinder just like that. The ejector going on the opposite side. Push them together until the ejector rod is flush with the top of the ejector. Rotate it until the holes line up. And then again with a pair of tweezers or pliers, push the pin all the way through. You have to push it just below flush to get the pin inside the radius of the hole in the ejector. And then the whole assembly will snap into place like that. Pull down on the rod, push up, make sure everything is functioning properly, and then just reverse the process to put it back onto the gun. Slide it to about there. Use a piece of paper to prevent marring and give it a sharp wrap right at the center of the bottom of the crane. If you go on the sides, you could bend the crane damaging it. So you want to go straight on 
and then push into place. Put your collar back on, cup side facing out, spring, and the head. Give another quick function check, make sure everything works. And that's how you take apart and reassemble the cylinder assembly for a Chartum's revolver.